another day! Another memory! Okay, let's go back to memory land, back when we weren't trapped by crazy and dairy. Oh, Shin, I hope you can get me out of here. <laughs> well, I pretty much figured that was the case. So what are you going to do? Should I try to help out? Ah, I see. Hmm. Then just tell me what happens. If you succeed, I'm going to go make fun of him. Huh? Idiot, it's too late for that. But I wonder if the people in the fan club will just sit by if you do. They seem really annoying. Uh, Iki's fan club? Is this what we're talking about? But what were we doing exactly? Sheesh, if something like this was going to happen, you should have just quit the fan club. Joining out of amusement just because Mine asked you to is stupid. But I know it's too late now. So the deciding battle will be during summer vacation. I don't really know what to tell you, but good luck. Sounds like Iki's fan club. Oh. Hey, Orion. Are you awake? You just remembered a conversation with Shin. Are you still out of it? Uh, don't try to stand up all of a sudden. You'll hit your head. Why? Anyway, you're okay for now. You're not in any danger, just get up slowly. I'm in a cage! Where the hell did he get a cage from? Freaking Toma, where the heck did you get this from? Uh, are you surprised? I'm upset. <laughs> Angry upset. Good morning. Oh, don't look at me like that. This is terrifying. Did you sleep well? Were you cold? If you're cold, I can give you a blanket. That's a cage made for large dogs. It was tough getting it in the room. Oh, so I'm a large dog, am I? It's sealed with a padlock, so you can't get out. Don't try anything silly, like trying to force it open. Who do you think has more strength? You are a very large dog. It should be obvious. Just bring your face nice and close so I can scratch your eyes out. It's not built, so it can be broken easily. I'll give you all your meals. I'll let you out to use the bathroom and take showers, too. Don't worry. He says don't worry, but I don't think he can say that when he's done something like this. I feel like an idiot for trusting Toma and for letting you be near him. I'm sorry, rosy cheeks. But if I don't do this, you'll try to leave the room, right? I can't let you do that. I'm sorry. I just keep apologizing to you. Even though my apologies might just be irritating you more. Oh, but being in there isn't all bad for you, you know? Oh? To tell you the truth, I was starting to get lonely. But us living together would have been an issue. But if you're in that cage, I can't do anything to you. That's why you can relax. You wouldn't want a man you don't love to take advantage of you, right? He says that, but he has the key! Yeah, doy. You can come in here anytime, man. Alright, I need to make up some reason so that Shin doesn't come here anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, rosy cheeks. I'm really sorry. I wonder why I'm even here at your side. All I wanted to do was return you- return, return you to normal, and if I could help you live, have a happy life. This is none of your fault, Orion. I got swept up in this mess. But this isn't happy at all. This is just sad. I just need to get out of here quick. Yeah, that's, uh, for sure. But, I'm not and- Okay, real talk for half a second. 
What he's doing to her right now is not love, in case any of you think that it's romantic at all. This is not, not romantic in the slightest. This is very, very bad, very unhealthy. And if you were to ever find yourself in a situation where you've... Don't even get into a situation where you're put in a cage, God forbid, but... You know, if there's anything sus suspicious... Like what, like how Toma was acting the way he was with not letting her leave the room, getting angry, <laughs> and the fact that she was sleeping so much. You gotta call these things into question. It's not romantic. Get out of there. <laughs> you should not stay with somebody who's doing that to you because that is not, that is not love. So even though for the sake of this game I have to pick options, I'm assuming that if I went to good end, I had to pick options like, you know, I'm not sad, I'm okay with how things are, and I would never run away. That is not how you should react in real life. I just wanted to, to say that, in case anybody had that idea that this is romantic, because it is not. It is terrifying and sickening and wrong on so many levels, and it sickens me that I have to do things like say, I'm not sad when I should be like, I need to get out of here, I need to find some way to get help. That is rational. That is what a rational person would be doing, but unfortunately I don't think the game is going to want us to be a rational person. Because that's going to lead to a bad ending where you're not on the verge of being killed or drugged or trapped all the time. That makes me sad. But anyway, for the sake of the game, I'm not sad. You aren't, but why? <sighs> Doesn't matter how much you love him, girl. You can't have a relationship like this. It's terrible for both of you, but especially for you. Toma isn't actually your boyfriend, you know. You were tricked by him and even locked up inside a cage. Thank you, Ryan. How can you still say that? Is that just your personality? Are you trying to be considerate of me? Or... Is there something you remember that I don't know? I don't know. I'll protect you from anything scary, rosy cheeks. I see. You still believe, Toma. <sighs> oh. Of course she does. Look at our parameters. She's got a lot of doubt, but she also has a lot of trust in him. Man, we've almost maxed out all our crafts. You know he's not your boyfriend, and you realize he tricked you. But still, you believe Toma because he swore to protect you so long ago. His method might be twisted, but it is possible that he still just wants to protect you. Yeah, it's very twisted reasoning. I understand where he's coming from doesn't make it right or good or any of that but I at least understand I hope we can appeal to the side of him that he says is worried about being disliked by her I understand how you feel but I wonder how Toma feels I still don't know exactly what Toma's thinking that's the real problem there's no need to go this far no matter how much danger there is mm-hmm we know it's dangerous to go outside, but it's almost like he's trying to hide you from sight. What reason does he have to go that far? Could it be that one thing? After coming here, how many days was it when we went outside? There was that weird man with long hair. Do you remember? <laughs> how could I forget her, Ryan? So handsome. He said... You're going to be killed by him. He also said they were trying to kill me, though. But who is this him? Could it be Toma? Does that mean Toma will eventually kill you? <laughs> uh, well, that's the thing, right? Like, it's... It's escalation. Like, it started with... He's 
he went to see her like at the break of dawn every day and he like protected her from what you know protected her from what was in her mailbox and then the next set was oh you can stay at my place for a few days and then it was you're gonna stay at my place forever we can just live like this forever and you know here's a spare key so you can go outside then he gets mad that you do go outside he's like you're trying to get away from me aren't you and now this is the next step with putting us in a cage so I mean it could escalate to the point that he might kill her because he's like if someone else is gonna kill you anyway it might as well be me because then I can make sure it's nice and gentle for you and then you know it was someone who loved you and stuff <laughs> oh. I mean, that's the reasoning Tay had back when we played Nameless. <sighs> but Rosy Cheeks would never believe that of her big brother and the man she's loved, or she thinks she loves, I don't know. Then does that mean someone besides Toma has some sort of ill will against you? And Toma is trying to protect you from that someone? That is, if we actually believe what that man said. It's possible that he's just participating in harassing you. The one who cut your hair, though, was a girl. Is there even a culprit at all? I mean, Toma could have planned this all out to trick you. I think he just took advantage of the situation, Orion. Ugh, this is no good. Thanks to Toma, things have gotten even more confusing. You know, we got that diary from our house and we never ended up reading it. I wish we could get our hands on it so we could get some answers from there. Let's put that aside for now. Let's think in simple terms. First, getting out of this cage is the tr top priority. Well, we'll pull off covering your memories for now. You need to be free first! <sighs> How are we gonna do that? <laughs> Hi. You're probably hungry. I brought some food. I'll put it inside. Sand back a little ways. You don't feel like eating. I didn't drug it or anything. I went and got things you like, but I'll just put the tray here, okay? I see, so he's going to open the lock. Maybe we can use this chance. Like, you could shove Toma aside and run out or something. I don't trust you and your food. I'm not hungry. I guess that's natural. You aren't in the mood to eat. Tell me when you're hungry. I'll give it to you any time. Oh, but don't try to escape when I open the cage. You don't want me to always have to put handcuffs on you, right? What? How far is Toma willing to go? I told you. Escalation. It just keeps escalating. Didn't even mention him drugging the food when I was going through my thing of escalation. And if you start a hunger strike or something and refuse to eat, there are alternatives. The mouth isn't the only way to supply nourishment. Okay, where are you gonna get that from? Uh, I wonder if it's really possible to escape from Toma. <laughs> Several hours later. <laughs> There's somewhere I need to go for a while. Go? At a time like this, it's already past 11 at night. Don't act up while I'm gone. You can't break that cage. It's already time to sleep anyway. I'll turn off the lights. Anyway, I'll see you later. Huh. There's this huge feeling of oppression when Toma's in the room. It's like I can feel the pressure around us. If it was still before evening, I would have said, Yes, Toma's gone! Let's use this chance to escape! Or something like that. But seeing how he even prepared handcuffs for this, just because he's gone doesn't mean we have an actual chance. I wonder where Toma went. Maybe your place. In that case, he'll realize that you saw the messages. This is the worst. But I guess the situation really can't get much worse than this. Oh, Ryan, don't say that, because it will get worse. I'll take a look around the room. Even though you can't get out of the cage, it doesn't affect me. Can you read our diary? Oh, but of course you can't interact with the human world. Unless it's already open. 
Let's see. Oh, your cell phone and your bag are on the shelf. And naturally, of course, you can't reach it from the cage. The key to the cage is... Not here. It's most likely that Toma's carrying it with him. Hmm? Wait. Then what's this key? Hey, Toma left your room key here. Then I guess he didn't go to your place. I totally thought that would be where he wanted to go. What else is different? Oh, he left his computer on. Onto what? Oh, shoot. It's a laptop, and the screen's closed, so I can't see inside. There's probably another report for college. I wonder if there's anything else. Is anything new? I hope he's not meeting with Shin right now in some alleyway, <laughs> taking him out. But even if there was, I wouldn't be able to touch it. Huh, I'm back. I couldn't do anything. I wonder what we could do to get you out of this cage. Gotta do some brainstorming. Although, of course, for the sake of narrative, I probably will have to stay here. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know when to run and when to stay. I can see it being very easy to get a bad ending in this route. Ah, good morning. Did you sleep well? Of course, it couldn't possibly be comfortable, but a bed won't fit in there. I'll buy a mat or something later, so please forgive me. Want something to drink? Tea or coffee? I guess you just woke up, so coffee. Good morning, rosy cheeks. You seem to be fine, besides a stiff shoulder and a stiff back. Last night... I think it was around two when Toma came back. He's been staring at the computer the entire time since then. He was checking something. Why don't you go and see what it is? Something online. He just did a search and looked through the hits, so I didn't see the content. Maybe as a report for college. What could it be? Here's some coffee. Sorry, I have to hand it to you through metal bars. Were you behaving yourself while I was gone yesterday? I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> of course not. Hmm? It doesn't look like you were struggling. What did you do? It would be a lot more like you to struggle, though. So I should struggle. You don't have to say you weren't behaving, either. Are you so mad that you're trying to play tricks on me now? <laughs> Is it working? If I was someone who was into it, I'm sure I wouldn't mind seeing you mad, but that's not my taste. What are you going on about now? I start to cower when you get mad. It's a habit from when we were kids. I get scared when you get mad. I guess you could call it trauma. And now you're shifting blame to her. Ugh, oh, Toma. <laughs> Does your devilry know no bounds? I'm okay right now, though, since you're in that cage. Oh yes, just imagine all the hurt I could do to you if I was outside of this cage. What's he talking about? More importantly, what exactly did you do to Toma when you were kids? Maybe it's your fault that Toma turned out like this. Oh, seriously? Orion, even you're turning against me! <laughs> I mean, it's possible that she did something that played a part in his psyche becoming like this, but come on. Several hours later, considering the fact I didn't get a memory from that, I'm hoping I'm not the cause of this. Huh, I'm so bored. Time goes by so slowly. Sorry for interrupting your boredom. Do you want to take a shower? A shower? Wait, that means you can get out of here, rosy cheeks! It would be best to take one. You didn't get to bathe yesterday. And you've got bedhead. Uh, this isn't the time to be worried about your hair. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Here, give me your hand. Just one is fine. He's handcuffing you? Ugh. Thanks. I'll just cuff one since it would be inconvenient on both. I'll hold on to the key and the end of the chain. 
If you're going to be considerate, you shouldn't do this at all! <sighs> Darn, I was hoping we might be able to get a hold of our phone or our diary. I left you a change of clothes. Do you see it? I'm sure you probably won't like what I picked, but just try to bear with me for now. It's hard to put on your clothes with one hand, isn't it? Do your best to put them on and come out. I'll try not to look. Okay, head back into the cage. If you don't hurry, I'll look. I'll remove the handcuffs to so put your hand out. Okay, now put your clothes on right. I'll continue writing my report. Oh, this is so frustrating! It's super annoying that you can only do what Toma says regardless of the reason! Rosy Cheeks isn't some doll that belongs to you! What happened to human rights? You're getting mad now that she's been handcuffed and had to shower and then put on her clothes when she was handcuffed and stuff? Not when she was put in the cage, Orion? Oh. But I hear you, man. If I had a physical body, I'd beat the crap out of him! Whew, go Orion. Huh. Sorry, I know it's even more annoying and scary for you. I've never felt so frustrated by the fact that I'm just a spirit in my entire life. We're in the same room, and such terrible things are happening to you, but I can't do a thing to help. All I can do is sit by your side and watch. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. At least you're here with me. I mean... Given the choice, you could cut our shared connection and just not talk to me and leave me to my own devices. You're like, I just can't deal with it. I gotta shut my eyes to the world, but you're being a little bit of a moral support for me right now, Orion. So I thank you for that. Yeah, see? You're helping just by being here. Rosy cheeks. Yeah, it's okay. I won't leave you all alone. Even if your memories return and we're separated, I'll stay by your side. Oh, Ryan. Thank you. Even if you forget me, I'll be with you until you find happiness. I'll watch over you. You won't be alone. Uh, I think I'm starting to understand Toma's feelings of wanting to protect you. I can't create anything myself. I'm just a spirit who was created to bridge the gap between gods and humans. But I'm glad that I'm able to be here with you. Thanks, Orion. My own guardian spirit bug. Thank goodness for him. Let's go to sleep. I'll turn off the lights. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're like a captive princess. <laughs> that would make me the evil demon king. And I guess Shin's the hero. The Demon King will always eventually be defeated by the hero who saves the princess. But not now. I can't let that happen yet. Ah. Uh, you've become so beautiful. Your hair and eyes and fingers, they don't even compare to when you were a kid. Everything is so beautiful. You were pretty cute when you were a kid, but... You really have grown up. It's strange. We've been together all this time, but I've only just realized it. You've become this beautiful. No wonder someone like me can't keep a hold on you. I'm sorry, Rosy Cheeks. Just endure this a little longer. I promise I'll free you from this place when the time comes. Oh, Toma, if only I could believe that. Give me some reason to believe in that. Because you haven't done much of a good job in getting me to believe you. Oh, I just need more memories. Seeing this line, I don't know why. It strikes me as being icky. And then the thought occurs to me, 
what if we were meeting with Iki to, and he was helping us like become more womanly so that Toma would notice us? And he's like, and I'll date you too. Maybe I'll make him jealous. I don't know. He'll see you as a woman because you're dating a guy. I mean, this might not be Iki. But I'll assume, I, I will read this under the assumption that it's Iki. <laughs> You wanted to see you as a woman. Hmm. You, huh? You've got some spirit, at least. What should you do? Hmm. What's your final goal? You just want to be seen as a woman. You want to go out with him, right? Or do you want him to be madly in love and be all over you 24 hours a day? Don't get so embarrassed. You need to admit the truth. But what could you do? If you didn't have any charm, that would be the first thing to improve. But that's not the case for you. Hmm. This is troublesome. Huh? Oh, don't worry. It's fun for me to listen to what you have to say. Nobody's ever come to me for love advice before, so this is pretty refreshing. Let's see, what would be the most effective? I want him to look at me. I want him to love me. More than now, and more properly. Well, at least you have that thought going through your brain. Keep going, rosy cheeks. Ugh, so dizzy. Good morning. I wonder if that was Iki. I mean, it could have been our friend Sawa, but I don't know. It just struck me as kind of strange. It looks like you remembered something. This one looked like more love advice, just like the day before yesterday. The last person was Shin, but today's was... Who? I've never heard that voice. Still, you've been recovering a lot of memories lately. It would be a problem if you fully recovered right now. I wouldn't be able to talk to you anymore. But you can still see me clearly, right? That could mean that you still haven't reclaimed the most important memory or feeling just yet. Oh, you're awake? Oh, I'm tired of looking at you through these bars. You seem so disoriented in the mornings. Were you always this bad at waking up? You're like a different person from last night. Oh, right. Here. What's this box? It's a jigsaw puzzle. One with a thousand pieces. You're bored, right? I'd like to read my diary. Ugh, how annoying! Is this just how he is? Or is he trying to be irritating? If he's always like this, I'm sure he has lots of enemies. Well, that's probably wrong. Toma conducts himself better than this, but something about his character... Maybe he doesn't realize that this is just irritating, and he's seriously just trying to help relieve you of your boredom. I can't tell if he's nice or if he's not. <laughs> I'm in the same boat as you, Orion. I'll be out for a little while. I'm going to drop by your place. I'll just borrow your key for a bit. What? Wait, what should we- what should you do? Don't worry, I'm just going to clean the mailbox and tear down the posters. I haven't been there in a while, so I'm sure there's stuff to clean up. Huh? Here it comes. You went home the other day, right? I left your computery- Computer- Your computery? Oh my goodness. I left your computer battery out by accident, so I'm sure you saw the messages. What else did you see? The posters? Your mailbox filled with ketchup? I cleaned everything up, but you figured it out, right? Or did you not? You've been doing that? Uh, I did notice, but I haven't figured it out. You knew, but you didn't say anything. I guess you don't trust me. Although that doesn't bother me now after all this. But you do need to pay attention to things like that, or I'd be too worried to let you out of here. You didn't think I knew you went back home? Sorry, but I've got sharp senses. That's why I'm so good at poker. Oh man, I forgot that tidbit. That seems like a lifetime ago. Three lifetimes ago. 
Oh, just so you know, I didn't put a tracker on you or anything. I don't intend to infringe upon your privacy that much. Oh, well that's a relief. I'm glad you stopped at, you know, handcuffing me to in a big dog cage. I'd take the tracker if it meant we could get out of this cage. Amen. Anyway, I don't mind if you hide things from me, but assume that I don't know them already. I'm sure you already know this, but it's pretty hard to fool me. See you later. <laughs> See ya. Toma realized everything and just pretended not to know. I don't like this. It's really creepy to think a guy like that has you confined. He's just too perfect, and he's got sharp senses. There's no way to escape. And what kind of relationship did you have with Toma before anyway? I can't even imagine how you even developed a friendship with a guy like that. Ah, uh, he's probably like this before, just in smaller doses. And she'd probably be like, I think Toma has his good points. You know, when he's not locking you in a cage. Maybe. Like what? Are you not able to answer that because your memories haven't come back? Or can you just not think of anything? Ugh, I think it's the latter. I think so too. Several hours later. We're still in our cage. Ah, I'm tired. Today sure was a lot of work. I think the landlord will get mad. I'm back, rosy cheeks. It would be nice if you welcomed me home. Although that might be asking a little too much. Maybe. There were so many posters, but I tore them all down. I cleaned the mailbox, too. They really like to use things like mayonnaise and ketchup. to keep it fresh with variety. Want this? It's your energy bill soaked in olive oil. <laughs> the landlord said he knows you can't help it since they're all just bad pranks, but at this rate you'll have to leave. Oh, that's great. This is troublesome. Ugh, my hands are all sticky. Oh, boo-hoo! Actually, olive oil might be good for the skin. <laughs> You're losing your mind. You know, I don't really like Toma, but... It's nice that he's cleaning that up for you. <laughs> See? Good points. One. Cleaning up things like rotten eggs and dead bugs sounds like really dirty work. But I still can't forgive him. Ha, <laughs> huh, I finally got it off. The smell is still there, though. But it's olive, so it's not too bad. The smell is a lot better than the black vinegar from the other day. Hmm? Why are you looking over here? Is there something you want to tell me? I'll be happy if it's not a complaint or an objection. Oh. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, thanking your captor. Oh. <laughs> oh, this this route is just so messed up in so many ways. Oh. But I've gone on about that long enough. Thank you, Toma. Ah. Uh, oh, it's not a problem. Yeah. You shouldn't thank someone who's keeping you captive. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. At least you're sane enough to not realize that, Toma. I didn't think I'd ever be able to hear words like thank you from your lips again. You really are an idiot. I can agree with you there too. And time passed. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Oh, Iki, my love! Save me.